Hello, 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 guys. It is your girl, Miss Two, with a, another update from my tummy tuck. This is 10 days post-op, so 10 days. So it was very exciting. I said um, I went for a follow-up appointment yesterday, which was Thursday, so today is Friday. So I got dressed. My husband's gonna get ready to take me for a drive, do some sightseeing, let me get some fresh air and sun on my skin. Always makes me feel better. But I wanted to give you an update on what the doctor did yesterday. So I still have my tubes in. They were still draining out a little more than um, expected. So I'm going to go back on Monday and have the drains finally removed. So since they're still draining, I'm not in a rush to get them taken out. I was gonna show you, but I still have on the binder under here and I have my pouch with my bags under here. I'll probably show you how much they're draining. I haven't drained them since last night, but um, I wanted to tell you what I was still doing. I'm still taking my extra strength Tylenol, which is time to take a dose before I go. So sometimes I take two pills, sometimes I take three. Since I'm getting ready to go out, I'm gonna take three of these Tylenol off the um, hydrocodone. So I've been taking that. Um, I'm still taking my uh, muscle relaxers, the Valium, every eight hours. So I took that this morning. Take that real quick. I just finished getting dressed and washing up, so I'm a little winded, and I wanted to stand up today so you guys can see I'm standing up a lot straighter. I'm almost all the way standing straight up, and um, that's how I look right now. I'm still moving slow. Been taking my walks, but it's day 10, guys. Day 10 of my abdominoplasty with the liposuction of my flanks. So my hips um, are a little sore um, still. They get sore up in this area here. I guess that's where the liposuction is. The stitches are still in. Um, again, the diazepam, I still have that. But... This is my 10th day on my antibiotic. So I've been taking these antibiotics. So I got three left for today. So I took one this morning. I'll take one this afternoon with a meal and with dinner. But today is the last day of my antibiotics. And I'm so excited about that. I usually get, I don't know if you other ladies experience this, but after antibiotics, I usually get a yeast infection. Infection, So I do have uh, some Diflucan in the room. I take the two pills, usually knocks it right out the box, but I've been feeling really good. Been doing my sponge baths. Got that all done today by myself, mind you, by myself. Washed up in front of the sink, did my Vaseline and everything. Um, yesterday, she put some ointment on my belly button, which she did advise to not use any Neosporin. So that is a tip for today. She actually said 90% of the people of the population are actually allergic to Neosporin and it actually changes the skin, discolors the skin. So I'm only gonna use what they advise they put a medicated ointment on my belly button. I think it's starting to look good. Still has some healing to do. So I'm excited about that. Um, things I've been doing for my bowels have been very helpful for me because I'm still really bloated because I'm eating better now. I'm eating uh, fuller meals now. Yesterday I actually ate some ribs <laughs> and some beans and a little macaroni and cheese. And for breakfast, I had a, um, a English muffin and some eggs. So 
I need to get all that stuff moving and going. So I've just been using magnesium citrate and I got the flavor kind, this is grape. I've also had the lemon, which is okay. And I usually don't even mix this with anything. Some people mix it with ginger ale or orange juice or something. I just take my time and drink it and drink some water. And what she told me to do is to not drink as much water right now because my body is retaining the fluids. So I was happy she told me that because I was getting ready to start back drinking my lemon water. I love drinking lemon water, it helps me stay refreshed. And I've just been staying encouraged and I brought this, my encouragement dice for you guys today. I always say my affirmations every day. And what I've been using since the surgery is I have healing energy flowing through every cell of my body at all times. And I am healing um, with a divine speed. So I've been saying that every day. I think I'm healing very well. Like I said, I'm standing up taller, straighter. I'm catching my breath. I'm able to move around a lot better. I'm sleeping in my bed, which is, I think that's been the most helpful thing after sleeping for eight days on the recliner, propped up with pillows. It's just not a good night's sleep for me. So let's roll the dice and see what we're gonna encourage you with today. And it is just to, well, it's backwards because of the camera, but it's to live simply. Live simply is the advice for today. Be kind, pray often, stay wild, which is what I'm going to do as soon as all my healing process um, gets into play. I can't wait to get back to my activities. I'm part of a all-female 40 plus double dutch group and we be out there encouraging each other just jumping staying young and staying healthy and doing what we need to do after you are 40 plus so i'm just excited that the process is going well i feel great i'm getting ready to go take this ride but again i had my surgery on april the 5th it is now april the 15th, I believe it's Friday, so it's 10 days, right? So it's April the 15th. Um, I'm moving around, I'm feeling good. I'm using the bathroom with the aid of this magnesium citrate and just taking it one day at a time, staying encouraged, staying positive, um, and really relying on my husband. He's been very helpful and my progress and my healing, help, you know, making my meals, getting my tea, hot lemon tea has also been great for me. He's been helping me get in bed and, you know, just saying those positive things to me that I, I need to hear because it's, it's a tough process, ladies. Having this is not a walk in the park. I'm not trying to make it seem like it's easy or like it's for everybody but I took a whole year to prepare for this surgery. My kids are grown. My daughter is 24 years old, so she is an adult. Um, we are empty nesters, so I had the time and the space and the opportunity to do this for myself, to make myself feel better, to live my best version of myself as possible. It is a tough surgery. I do say, my anesthesiologist, I forget his name, it was Rex somebody, but I think he was great. All I remember going into the surgery room, the nurse put the IV in my arm, I went into the operating room, I laid on the table, he put the oxygen mask on my face, and I remember saying one thing, because I was just saying, I already prayed for you guys and everybody is already covered. And by that time I was out. And next thing I know, I was waking up, which seemed like 
10 or 15 minutes later, but I think it was a two hour surgery, two and a half hours, and he was done. But it seemed like 10 minutes to me, literally. I woke up, I was not nauseous, I wasn't groggy, I wasn't foggy headed or anything. They helped me get up off the table, walked to my car, went home, and I usually would get dizzy or motion sick in the car on the way home after a surgery. I didn't feel any of that. I didn't feel any motion sickness. I didn't feel any nausea. I felt like I had surgery, so I was just really tired and couldn't wait to get home, but I think that was due to a great dose of medication. So thank you to my anesthesiologist and my surgeon, Dr. Rumala in Fort Worth, Texas at Tarrant Plastic Surgery. So if you are in the Texas area, I suggest you check him out. I think he is a very great doctor. I feel good. And like I said, I just had a follow-up appointment yesterday trying to get the drains out, but they said they're still draining. So Monday is my day. So I'll give you guys another follow-up on Monday after my follow-up appointment, after I get these things out, and then I can take a shower the very next day. And I'm waiting to take my shower. So that's all I have for you guys today. If you're just finding my channel, Thank you for following and staying updated. My name is Miss Two, um, and I'm just giving you an update on my tummy tuck surgery, my abnoplasty with liposuction of the flanks, and that's all we did um, for that surgery. I think it went great. I went home the same day. <laughs> in surgery by noon and I was home by three or four o'clock and follow up the very next day. So I think that's great. I'm feeling great. Again, this is how I look. I can still do a spin around 10 days after surgery. So that tells you that I'm feeling pretty awesome and fabulous. So until next time, until the next update, I'll see you guys on Monday after my follow-up surgery, after I get these tubes out. And I, I'll just show you the tubes really quick on how much they're still draining without trying to show you too much. The left side is draining less, which they was going to take that out. But my husband said, no, it's still draining. And she said, okay, let's just keep it in and I rather they say if they're not draining in these tubes so this is my right side still draining this is my left side not as much but still something in there and if they're not draining in these tubes they're just absorbing in my tissues and my body so I rather go in the tubes and not in my body and he doesn't recommend those uh, massages. He said, just go with this natural process. Keep this binder on that I have and they'll let me know when I can uh, transfer into the, um, the Faja, the Colombian Faja with the stitches in the front. But it's going good. 10 days post-op, tummy tuck, going great, feeling great feeling amazing and just can't wait till the process is continuing to progress and I keep feeling better and better. So signing off, it's your girl, Miss Two. Have a great weekend.